Hello. Lymphatic system, big part of our immune system, really important for filtration, filtering out um, all kinds of things in the body. So I wanted to show you guys how to open up the major lymph nodes um, with the idea of kind of if these major lymph nodes are open, it creates a nice um, suction that kind of just helps the lymphatic fluid move throughout the body. Show you a few things first. Um, so I'm certified in manual lymphatic drainage voter technique. This is going to be based on voter technique, but I'm just going to kind of change it up to how I feel like it would be most applicable because you're going to be doing it on yourself. Um, two things to think about. So the method is really light, like really light touch. So it's going to look um, like it's almost like if you're moving a nickel across a table, like very light, super light because the um, the lymph is, is really superficial to the skin. So it's going to look kind of like this, a little push, see how there's just a little bit of wrinkling, and then direction, and then let go. So that snap back that you're getting is actually really important. And it should look kind of like this, like, like one, direct, let go. It's almost like a three second, one, one, let go, one, one, let go. Okay, things to keep in mind. First place we're going to start is here, in this little area here, swimming in the terminus is what voter would call it. And what the it's going to look like is in and here. Because you're doing it on yourself, it's going to look like you're pushing it back towards the ears and then scooping into that little opening here, right? So it's going to be like push and scoop, push, scoop. Um, and remember, you're going to have that little um, kind of bounce back there. Um, just let me plug this bad boy in. But it doesn't go out of battery. And we'll get going. All right. So again, um, crossing the arms is going to be easier. I'm doing it over the clothes just so you can see it, but you would be doing it here and in. All right. So you're going to do it five to seven times here. Then we're going to move to the neck. I'm having this sternocleidomastoid, the hands on the upper part of the traps here, so it's kind of wrapping around. I'm going to go back a little bit and down. So it's going to, if I'm showing you, it's going to look like back and down. Back, thumbs down, back, thumbs down, release. Right, so it's back, thumbs down, release. Back thumbs down, release. Okay, so you're going to do that five to seven times. It's relaxing. <laughs> oh yeah, that feels good. Alright, and then you're going to give your shoulders like a little squeeze in. You can do one at a time if you want, so it's going to look like stretch, squeeze, stretch, squeeze. Alright, so I'm going like stretch, just kind of bringing it in, direct, let go. let go, you can do that on both sides. Okay, next is axillary lymph nodes, so we're coming from above and below, it's going to be where tricep meets bicep and where lats meet pec here, so it's going to be again five to seven, you're just going to stretch, direct, let go, stretch, direct, let go. Again, it's going to be five to seven of those. Same here. You're going to be pushing up this time, though, so it's stretch, direct, let go. Good. If you have any lymph node removal, um, any kind of infection, anything like that, um, any kind of damage to this area, history of breast cancer, something like that, you're not going to want to go into this lymph node. What you would do is you would direct things up the lateral part of the arm up into here. Um, and I'll show you kind of in a moment. So um, skip that part if you have lymph node removal for that. And I'll be noting um, any contraindications in the comments below. So, okay, we've opened up here. Here, the axillary, the next part is going to be um, the deep abdominals. So I'm going to lower the desk here. It's 
the height adjustable desk. So I roll. Um, I'm going to show you how to do the abdomen. So this is the gorgeous ball from Yoga Tune Up. This is um, nice. It's nice and soft. You could also use like even like a yoga block. Anything that's going to give you some kind of um, leverage to push. You could use your hand. It's just going to be more difficult. So I think it's easier um, when you're doing it on yourself to have something. And this is nice and forgiving. And it's um, great for diaphragmatic release anyway. So kind of fits into it. The areas that you're going to be doing are belly button. So here's my rib cage here. It's going to be below the rib and then here's that kind of we'll call it that hip crest right here. It's going to be this area and on both sides. So it's going to be if my hand was fitting in it, it would be belly button here and here. And what you're going to do, the pattern that you're going to do it in is going to be belly button, upper, lower, back to upper, belly button. You go to the other side, upper, lower, back to upper, belly button. Okay. Um, the push that you're going to do with this is going to, so I have this here. I take a breath in. As I exhale, I'm putting pressure in. When I'm about to inhale again, I'm going to meet it with just a little bit of resistance initially. Once I feel that resistance, that pushback, I'm going to let go and allow it to allow myself to breathe naturally. Okay, so again, you're going to move to that upper part. We're going to go with the breath. So I just inhale naturally. As I exhale, I push in with the ball. As I inhale, I'm going to resist just initially and then allow it to naturally return and I'm going to do that again to the lower back up to the top and then the belly button again upper lower upper belly button so the full stomach routine will be center upper lower upper center upper lower upper center Okay, next area is to activate the inguinal lymph nodes here. So what you want to do is you're going to go to the inner part of the thigh here, and it's just going to be similar to what it was for the axillary. It's going to be stretch and direct. And you're going to do five to seven of that. Bloop. Okay. Um, there are areas that are referred to as um, bottlenecks, and that is kind of where lymphatic fluid is known to kind of build up or get blocked, and that is going to be in the elbow and on the um, inside of the knee, kind of right where the, the back of the knee meets the front of the knee, that little tender spot. Um, and what you do for those is maybe just give those a little bit of extra attention. So for instance, um, for the elbow, I'm gonna start below, on top of, and above, and I'm just going to do a little bit of a cross and up. And again, you can do five to seven times there, and then you'll go to the middle. And up. You could, if you want, do one, 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 and then do that five to seven times, or you can do five to seven as you go up. Um, and again, you can do the same to the knee and to the back of the knee. The back of the knee, you could also kind of almost go like around and up, around and up. So you're coming to the back of the leg and kind of pushing it up with both hands, and that might be a little easier, like you're gonna go whoop, and up, and up. Um, after you've opened up the major lymph nodes, you can go through and just do like a general sweeping. Um, you'll want to start from upper and then go lower. So for instance, if you're doing the arm, then then you would start here. Across, up, across, up. Right? And then I would go to my lower arm. And then I might do my hand. Um, same with the legs, start with the thigh, 
then go to the lower leg um, and work it up. You can do just a general, kind of gentle, after you've opened up the lymph nodes, you can do just like a gentle kind of sweeping to open up the system. Um, you can kind of push here. Just again, just kind of like a natural sweeping. Um, what else would I tell ya? After you've done all of that and a little bit of sweeping, a little bit of just like kind of bouncing a little bit is good. I don't know if you've ever done Tai Chi, they have essentially like this shake where they're kind of shaking all of the organs. Um, and you start with just like a little bit of a, then your arms kind of get into it. And again, it's just like a little bouncing in place. So that's good too to kind of get things going. Um, a lot of restorative yoga poses, like legs up the wall. If you're laying on your back and you have your legs support up the wall, that will influence um, or facilitate lymphatic drainage as well. Uh, so after you've kind of opened them up, um, then it's easier for it to move and you can kind of just generally move it. Deep breathing, diaphragmatic breathing will also help with um, feeding the uh, lymph around the body. So uh, that's it. I hope you like it. And I'll try to do some separate ones where we're focused more on um, different parts of the body. I know the face is a really cool one, but I just felt for overall health, well-being, it's a good place to start of opening up um, the major lymph nodes. And again, that's going to be here, here, underneath the arms, the abdomen, and then the um, inguinal lymph nodes, and then a little bouncing. All right, so I hope you like it. Mm -hmm.